Then I thought, what if instead of a6, we start with rook a b8? And now if white go to short castle, we are very happy for this, we will play a6. And no worry about anything, because after knight a4, queen d2, bishop d2, okay, we can play knight d7, so our opponent king is on g1, not on d2, not in the center. But also after uh, knight a4, queen d2, bishop d2, we are ready for playing b5, just b5. And after cb5, rook c1, rook c1, ab5, everything is super. We have time for ab5, our rook is on b8. After rook ab8, uh, now uh, if rook c2, a6 we play, uh, knight a4, queen d2, king d2, and here we play knight d7. Next move we are ca is coming f5, and if white plays there is g4, typical move, okay, we are ready for b5. Our rook is on b8, not on a8. Uh, we just include rook b8 and rook c2 move, so then our uh, rook b8 is much more useful move. And again, after cb5, we take rook c2 and ab5, again, everything cool. So after rook a b8, in real, white has uh, just two moves, uh, knight a4, using ideas that after queen d2, king d2, a7 will hang. And uh, after rook a b8, knight d5 move, with similar idea, after queen, d8, queen d2, king d2, uh, trying to take a7 pawn. So after rook a b8, there are two principal moves, which we're gonna cover. 